there. See, yeah. <laughs> that was easy. It works out. I'm here in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Wednesday morning. Chef Nick Raybar is here from Avenue N. Garlic ginger beef is yes. on the menu. It smells fantastic. It's going to be fantastic. It sounds fantastic. And look at that. It of course fantastic. it's going to be fantastic. Look at you. Look well, at you know, you. I was excited. I was watching the Billy and Brendan show here, <laughs> and I was captivated. The Billy and Brendan. And now I have to, like, pivot and get back to, you know, what we're doing here today. And we are making ginger garlic beef. Right, okay. okay. It's, so, it's what you're going to have for dinner tonight. Right, and you broke out the wok. The wok is out. Well, yes. You know, I think it was a year 13 of our relationship where I finally took the wok out and you said, we have a wok? And now... <laughs> <laughs> and now it's back. That did happen. That, that is, did happen. We're going to have to true. go to the video tape. That is true. I had no idea. But it did happen, and we have the wok now. We're going to put it to good use. So uh, wok is a great uh, cooking device, especially for something like this, because we're going to be stir-frying. Got it. So uh, I'm going to start off. I'm going to use olive oil. Um, uncommon olive oil in a dish like this, common sesame oil, but sesame is very nutty, and that's really not the flavors we're going for. We're going for gentle, delicate flavors okay. of ginger, okay, which is like an ingredient that I use commonly. Uh, it is one of those just floral, delicious, incredible, aromatic uh, right. ingredients. It's it's one of its, it's the only one of its kind. Got it. Uh, garlic, into the pan with the olive oil, start to saute. Then we're gonna make this sauce from orange juice, a little bit of soy, uh, some rice vinegar mm -hmm. and some uh, garlic chili uh, paste as well. That so, sounds so good. It's going to be so good. It's going to really coat this beef. Now, to saute it, I'm going to dredge it in a little bit of a, a flour and cornstarch mix as well. Okay. And that's going to uh, not only just make a nice crust on right, the beef, right. but as it sort of renders into the oil, it's going to thicken the sauce a touch too. Okay. So this will really glaze it perfectly. Got it. So you're not going to marinate, like marinate this or anything. No, you're going to kind of like all do it, all doing it, you're doing everything in the, in the wok. Yes, but what what a great question oh, because yeah, because you're Will Gilbert. Of course, you asked the hard hitting question. Who knew? So I oh my god, but I am going to season it well with okay. a little bit of salt, right. and that way that the meat has a little bit more flavor before it actually goes into the pan. You can marinate it if mm -hmm. you want to. So that's such a great question. If you want to marinate your beef beforehand, fabulous, more power to you. Um, but I think the sauce, even though, like I said, it's a gentle sauce, right? It's not like spicy or anything along those lines, okay. even though we're using this little bit of a chili, sure, but it's it's a mild chili. Like so it's going to be a little sweet uh, and a little bit of everything nice. It, so. it smells fantastic, and I really can't. I mean, obviously, and we say this all the time, Nick does an incredible job every time he's in the Roadshow Kitchen. And I do have people who I was with Saturday night at an event, and they love, love, love you. Well, a couple that watches every single day. That means so much. So we'll Thank put, you to we will, that is. We will put this together and give it a try and also talk about Avenue N as well in just a little bit. Back to you. We are back in the kitchen this morning with the one and only Nick Raybar from Avenue N making us garlic ginger beef. Yes. It smells so good. I just said to Nick, I'm like, I don't eat in the yes. morning, I, so I kind of come here, and this is my first meal usually of the day or bite. You're gonna love this one. It smells so good. And I'm good. telling you, when I say it, I mean, I mean this. Everybody should make this tonight. And you can make it so with good. beef. You can make it with pork. You can make it oh. with uh, fish. You can make it with chicken. Whatever you have in your fridge, it's just these few ingredients. But we have to get to through them. Okay. So ginger and garlic in the pan. Okay. okay? Start Already to saute. In. Already in. in. And you can see that pan. So I pre-seared the beef. Yes, you I did. I dredge it in a little bit of. Uh, cornstarch and flour and now I'm gonna put in some orange juice oh, orange yep, juice. now okay. that is a light and uh, a nice little uh, bit of acid in there as well and I'm also gonna add some rice vinegar oh, and these flavors coming together some huh? soy sauce they do come together beautifully and now just a little bit of soy because I want this to stay on the lighter side. Okay. And we've got this on full heat. Is this what we should do? Okay, yep. it needs to be so on we full want heat. It on full heat, and we want to bring that to a boil, and we want to put in some of this chili sauce here. And You're that's going to add a lot of flavors, yes, huh? Yes. Yes. And uh, but they're not like uh, they're not like overly intense flavors. So we're going to let that come to a boil. They're not okay. overly intense flavors. So let's just take it from the from the ground up here. Okay. Beef. Cornstarch flour, season, season the that. beef. Okay. Season the beef. Okay. Then we're going to go into the wok with, uh, we're going to remove that. Mm -hmm. And you want to scrape the edges of the wok because there's a lot of deep, intense flavor right in uh, that. from the beef itself, from okay. the seasoning. And you want all that to get into that sauce to add the maximum amount of flavor. And while that is going. I'm telling you, if this tastes as good as it smells, yes, oh and my it's, gosh. It's absolutely going to. Now you can see how the beef has a bit of texture to it. Yes. Because that is from the corn starch and from the flour. Now what's going to happen here is that is going to uh, help thicken the sauce as well. So some of that texture on the outside is going to so fall good. off into the sauce and I'm just going to season with a little bit of salt. 
So are you, you letting this boil up again? Is that what you're let doing? it come to a second boil, right? Okay. And that's sort of how cornstarch works. So anytime you're using cornstarch or arrowroot or something as a thickening uh, um, agent, what you want to do is yeah. you make your slurry over to the side, and then you, once you add it to the sauce, you bring it back, bring to, a it boil. back to a boil. And at that time, you're going to know if uh, your sauce is where you want it to be. Oh, Let's you can already see that it's getting thicker. On huh? the edges, that you're quick. seeing it right away. So that's exactly how it happens. So that will tell you right then and there if your sauce is at the viscosity that you want it to be. And this is looking really phenomenal. Look at and how good yeah. this looks. Yeah. Like, oh so, so that worked really well. Now, um, I, you know, we only have a few minutes here to make this sauce, and we did it from. That's it. That's yeah. the whole sauce. So that is it. So Done. there's no um, like, oh, you know, I don't know if I have time to make this. Yeah. There's really no. That was really it. That's it. So it's done and it's done. And we're going to go on top. And of, I love that you said that you could do, like, if you don't want to do beef, you could do a chicken yes. or a pork or Chicken, fish. pork, shrimp, yeah. uh, tofu, whatever uh, it tofu is that you want. Too. Tofu yeah. is amazing. Uh, so whatever it is that you want. Now, I'm going to go over rice. And it's that's your dinner right there. If you wanted to add some veggies, carrots would go great in here. Oh, yes. Uh, bok choy goes really well in here. Now, this is just as good as... This is a relax. I'm, like, so relaxed watching this meal come together. Well, I it's am, like too. It's a perfect fall meal, too. It, it, it feels very fally out today. And, you know, I tell you, um, sometimes, Look you know, on, when you're doing live television, you have to play it a little safe. Yeah. And, like, maybe have your sauce done. This is not one of those dishes that you have to really worry about that. This is... Oh my gosh, Nick, it looks so good. Yeah, this is as simple as it gets, and you can see it this happened. This is a hearty dish. It happened. It's making a hearty dish for us today here yes, on the Roadshow. Yes, this is breakfast is served, and we love to eat here on the Roadshow. It looks so good, Nick. And oh my that God. is a done deal. Let's go on with some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, and again, the full recipe is over at Roadshow.com. Yes. Nick has done it again, some yet again, with this garlic ginger beef. Look at this finished product. There it is. Nick, It's as good it. as it gets. It's as good simple as it, as it gets. And I want to see this on every table tonight. All right, you heard him. Because it's a fabulous recipe. You heard him. Yes. All right, well, guys, Will, Brendan, I hope this is on your dinner table tonight, because it will be on mine. Yes, Back I'll be you watching guys. you, Brendan. I'm going to watch yeah. you. Yeah. Uh